Seth Tito, Morgan McCall, Emily Goodman, Andrew Lee, and Rafael Grullo. Smear TV. Smearing the truth. Hello, I am Raphael. And I'm Seth. And this is Smear TV. Today, our major issue is a crisis occurring in our environment. Do you know what that is? I have no idea. Well, we have a very low amount of non-renewable energy sources. Let me tell you, gasoline with the situation in the Middle East is expected to rise to soon $100 a barrel. That's triple digits. Gasoline prices could go up to as much as 4 and $5 a gallon. There is an issue of global warming occurring from all this petroleum and gasoline drilling. And the CO2 emissions are dreadful. I can't breathe with all the CO2 emissions out in the air. I have very weak lungs. I was a premature child. I was born at six months. And now my lungs are extremely filled with CO2 emissions and I can't breathe correctly. I have an asthma inhaler. In London, England, prices are up to over $5 a liter and in the Bahamas, Gas prices are over seven dollars a gallon. Clearly, this is a major problem. On today's episode, we'll talk to you about possible solutions, including alternative energy sources of carpooling, public transportation, H2O, and vegetable oil-powered cars, and nuclear power. We will also be hearing from Dr. Hudum Kerr and the public transportation advocators that we see out in the field. We'll also hear an astonishing weather report, and we'll hear from hippies. And now, we're going to have Emily Gutman out in the field. This is Emily Gutman reporting live from the field. Excuse me, excuse me. Hi, what's your name? Hi, um, my name's Georgia and Edwards. where are you heading to right now? Um, I was actually heading to the supermarket. I'm there to pick up some eggs and some tomatoes. Oh, why aren't you oh. using a car? Well, because I think because of some, all the CO2 emissions that we should really try to get out and stop the emissions. And also, I'm trying to work on my figure. You know how you gotta work on your figure, girl. Ain't that right. There you have it, folks. From... And now, to Morgan with the weather. Thank you, Seth. Now can anyone tell me how many barrels of oil we import every month? It's not 17, Andrew. We actually import 320,000 barrels per month. That's over twice as much as we make here in the U.S. All this, all this extra CO2 emission is obviously adding to global warming, creating our states all red and hot. And it causes the polar ice caps to melt. That's why Florida's gone. Pretty soon the world will be on fire. Oh God. Thank you, Mo, again. And now, we prepare a feature on the things you can do to take the stress off the environment. Now here's Raphael, out in the field. And now we're going to ask Granny D some questions. Excuse me, um, Granny D, wh why are you walking? Why am I walking? Yes. There, there are too many CO2 emissions in the atmosphere. Well, you heard it, you heard it from Granny D herself. There's too many CO2 emissions. You took my blanket! Now I'm here with a cyclist and we're going to ask him why he's cycling. Because it saves energy and uh, we're all about the green. We're all about the green here. Carpooling, another way to save energy. Another public form of transportation that can help relieve the stress of the CO2 emissions on the earth is the public bus. Wait! Wait! I missed the bus.
help stop the energy crisis. A round trip $2 ticket is less than a gallon of gas. I'm here with Dr. Adon Kerr, who is on his way back to the airport, back to Korea. He is a surgeon there, and he fixes hair lips. What are your thoughts on global warming? Yes, global warming is a concern, but the real concern is the current lack of non-renewable energy sources. We need to look into a solution, like nuclear power, now! Thank you, Dr. Hodong Kerr. And now, back to you, Raphael. Thank you, Raphael. Now let's hear from those disgusting, vile hippies. And now, we're gonna go speak to the hippies. Probably that jump. Hello. What's up? Are you? A I found myself a hippie here, and now we're gonna ask them a couple questions about the environment. So, what are your thoughts about CO2 emissions and global warming? It's just, it's just horrible. It's just so terrifying and sad and to see what we're doing to this beautiful green planet that God gave to us. Yeah, so we also see another smelly one over here. Let's ask her a couple questions. Why are you on those rollerblades? I don't think we should use other countries' oil. Very smartly said. So now, um, I see your car here. It looks like a piece of crap. <laughs> well, it's under the hood of this bad boy. Well, let me tell you something, man. With a very quick operation, costing minimal funds, we changed the motor over here to run on vegetable oil. Good stuff. Instead of gasoline, so we're not spending so much money on the foreign oil. It's really sad that we're drilling in our own wildlife refuges and uh, hurting stealing the from. Yes, the animals. Hurting the animals. Yeah, the animals, man. And we're stealing oil from other countries. We're going to wars for no reason other than to lie to our own people and steal things from poor, unfortunate people who already don't have enough. True. True. You heard it. From their dried out lips to my God blessed ears. Though these fragile hippies are environmentally sound, they have never heard of deodorant. Clearly, to cut our CO2 emissions and our crack-like addiction to oil, we need to get around in different ways, such as hydrogen-powered cars, solar-powered cars, and I don't know, get a cane and start walking. So thanks for watching our show today. We'll see you next time on Swinger TV. For Raphael, I'm Seth. And for Seth, I'm Raphael. 9-11 was a conspiracy, and good day.